Well, the way I look at it is these stocks have done incredibly well, you know, particularly in my sector. You know, 2019, up 30 to 40 percent. And then right before COVID, another screaming victory. And even during COVID, because they were seen as remote work, remote school, remote play opportunities, they did well. We've really only had this correction since Labor Day. And so even with companies that have strong fundamentals, and I'm not making a fundamental call, I would still think where their valuations were, where their valuations still are, that there's some downside risk. It was interesting to hear our last guest, though, differentiate some of these tech players from the more vulnerable parts of the market. He says these are utilities, more or less. They have reliable cash flow. They don't need to rely on the debt markets. Doesn't that argue for them outperforming or, or kind of holding in relatively well here? Well, I do think that investors who are investing not just U.S., but global equity portfolios could start to build a tech allocation because I think at full strength, at full weight, you probably want to have 30 to 40 to maybe even 50 percent of your portfolio represented by the technology sector. And again, the fundamentals here are pretty strong. And yes, over the long term, we will do very, very well particularly with interest rates pinned to the floor for the next couple of years. It just give us a little bit of break, right? We have only 40 days until the election. We have some real nastiness going on with the Chinese, which really impacts my sector. Hmm. So I think there's an opportunity to get in lower.